Hey, this is Jordan. I'm this video going to be going over how to set up a MATLAB interface to a MySQL database, specifically for um, Utah State's Center for Space Engineering, but this is general. So, starting off, MATLAB is a great and wonderful tool. Um, specifically, I'll be using MATLAB 2019A as the version. What you need is you'll need to come into apps and come to the database explorer. This should pop up a window that looks like this. This window in the top left, you've got configure data source and the new query. These are the two big things we'll use and then import data over here. So for configure data source, You've got JDBC and ODBC. ODBC is Windows specific, so if you're using Windows, that'll work great. If not, JDBC. When you click on either one of these, you'll come up with a window that looks similar to this. This top field is just what you want to call this connection for reference. Um, in our case, we're testing this with a MySQL database. Um, the driver location, this we're going to take a little bit of a side and we're going to pop over here to Chrome. So for the JDBC driver, this works very similar to the ODBC. Um, you just Google it and find it. Um, MySQL has a connector for both of these. You come in here for the JDBC connector. Um, if you're on a Mac, you can go for the platform independent version, which is right here. You can download this, unzip it, um, otherwise, you can also come back to go to the downloads page and if you're using Windows, again, it's right here. So you download this um, connector, this JDBC connector, and then from there, we'll come over to where it got saved. So in my case, this is the path where the connector got stored. Um, program files, MySQL, and then connector J8.0. So this is the file we're going to be after. Um, this is an executable jar file, and so this is what MATLAB needs. Popping back over to MATLAB, we've got that window, that window, that window, and connector window. So in setting up a test connection, say we want to set up test connection 3 MySQL, um, come in here and you browse to your driver location, which in this case I find it's easiest just to open it up, click on it, open, that's your driver location. Um, your database, this is the name of the database you're trying to access. For, so for our personal case here at this one that we're trying to access, here's a IP address. It's also called space data. So in this case, I can take that and I can either put in the 129.123.5.26. Oh, wrong field. That's in the server, the database. Again, coming back to here, if we come and log in, we see that one of the databases is called sport test zeros and a one. So sport test one, two, three, one. And that's the port number. Um, if everything is done correctly, you can test. Here we put in our username and password. CSE and sport CSE for our case hit test, it was successful, great, then you can save it. Once you've saved it, you can close out of this window, make that go away. And then from here, um, this will be blank for the first time opening, make a new query, come out, and this is the test connection we just made. Again, you input CSE and sport CSE, connect to it. This is where you can change what exactly you're trying to access, but this will work just fine. Leave the schema blank. 
um, comes in here. We've got a new tab for this. If you click over here to the left, you can click the checkbox. It'll show you a preview of the data here. And you can check whatever you want. Then to bring it into MATLAB itself, you can import data. You label it as data two. Click import. It shows up here as a table. Great, you can manipulate it from there. Also, alternatively, you can come in here and instead of importing data, you can generate a MATLAB script. So instead of clicking import data, this MATLAB script should import this data as well. So you can save the MATLAB script or you can go through the GUI interface. Anyway, that's how you get data from our Sport CSE MySQL server and database into MATLAB for editing and reviewing. Thanks, that's it.